Hello, Parish family. Here I am again with another update. I think I'm going to do a bit of a combo pack of, of finance and, and parish uh, update kind of all at the same time, uh, just to uh, hopefully just give you the basic details that you need to know as we move forward here at the parish. Uh, filming this uh, video for you, it's uh, just, you know, on the cusp of uh, the novena to Pentecost, you know, we're getting into that space where we're getting ready to really open our hearts to the power of the Holy Spirit and, and all that he, he wants to do among us in, at here at St. Morris's. It's a beautiful time of year. I love this time, you know, the Easter season, getting ready for Pentecost here in Ottawa, as you know, it's the, the Tulip Festival. I even uh, Father Jerry and Father uh, Marcus brought me down to the Tulip Festival. It's too bad I can't smell tulips, eh? But uh, So I'm looking forward to the lilacs coming out. But Father Jerry sent my mom and dad some pictures of me at the Tulip Festival, and he entitled it, this is for you, those of you who are 1970s vintage. Tim Toe Through the Tulips. Remember that guy? Tim Toe Through the Tulips. Tiny Tim. Yes, so hopefully some of you got a good chuckle out of that who remember those days. Uh, yeah, so it was fun being at the Tulip Festival. Signs of hope. And that's what I really hope for us, that we can be, continue to be people of hope despite the extension of our lockdown uh, here in the province of Ontario. Uh, as you know, things are pushed ahead again. We were hoping to open up for Pentecost weekend, but it looks like now we'll have to wait until uh, the weekend of Corpus Christi, which is, uh, you know, hint, hint, Father Marcus's birthday on June 6th, just to let, let you know. And uh, so that hopefully we'll be enjoying the celebrating the body and blood of Christ on that day. And if I remember correctly, that was that time last year that we reopened after a long shutdown you know, on the Feast of Corpus Christi and how, how, how blessed that was, you know, how fitting to come back to the Eucharist. So between now and then, you know, let's uh, continue to, to really press in and pray. One of the things I'd like to uh, do to increase our prayerfulness is on Wednesdays and Thursdays, we're going to have adoration in the church from uh, just basically after the 9 o'clock Mass, so roughly 9.45-ish, to 4 p.m., so on Wednesdays and Thursdays in the church, we'll have different hour captains for those hours, uh, but also with the 10-person limit, we'll have to you know, turn people away if more than 10 you know, come in at any given time. But throughout the day, we can you know, have sort of like what we do on Sundays. And then when the restrictions are lifted on those Wednesdays and Thursdays, obviously we can, you know, as long as you keep your six feet distance from the, the next person, you know, we can all come in and pray, it probably, you know, probably as many who want to come you know, up to 120 people. <laughs> so that'll be nice when that gets lifted in, in early June. And so uh, for the, between now and to the end of June, we're going to have that on Wednesdays and Thursdays. So let's pray. You know, let's really just seek the Lord and just press in before the Eucharistic Lord. Uh, we'll still continue to do the Sunday adoration from 10 till 2 p.m., uh, until the restrictions are lifted, because obviously we'll have Mass at 9 and 11, so we can't ha have the adoration, right? We'll have Mass. So, uh, yeah, that's just the basic update as far as adoration and prayer. Hopefully one day we'll get our full-on adoration chapel back up and running again. And thanks to all of you who have been coming out to pray, to be with Jesus, to intercede. You know, we need a lot of prayers right now. As you can see, I have with me a, a couple of saints behind me. I have St. Anthony, of course, with Jesus there. And then I have uh, St. Patrick too, which is nice for me as an Irishman. I like that. And, and, and uh, yeah, so two amazing saints with, who love Jesus and we're just, their prayers are just known to be so effective. So let's think of them as well and ask for their prayers. Uh, as well, I just wanted to let you know that uh, unfortunately we've had to sort of, uh, you know, push forward our uh, initial dates that we had for confirmations and first communions, and we bumped them into early June, uh, you know, for the children. And hopefully with the lockdown restrictions, it'll, it'll stay where it's at, ending on June 2nd, so we can continue with that. So please keep that in your prayers, because it'd be a shame to have to bump the first communions and confirmations up yet again, you know, into later June. So please pray for that if you would, because, uh, you know, these children have been, you know, waiting for this special moment for a long time. Also just want to ask for your uh, generosity financially, just to give you a brief financial update that uh, our April goal, uh, I asked for 50,000 and we made just over 50,000, which is fantastic. So we met our goal for sure. And the bonus is our expenses were actually less than we predicted that month. Um, and so we were able to actually like make a, 
some money back from our previous. I think it was about, I think we only, our expenses were only, uh, I think around 50, sorry, 41,000. So we actually had like a $9,000 sort of bonus for that, that month of April, which is fantastic. Now for the month of May, we're asking for $48,000. And uh, so far we're about $20,000 towards that goal based on your, your generosity. So just over the next, you know, three weekends, if, you know, if you're willing to help us out to meet our target of 48,000, that'd be great uh, just to help us out and to keep, keep things flowing. And then I'll let you know in June how we did towards that goal. The roof project, you know, thankfully that's, it's coming to a close. The roof has been fixed. Uh, the, you know, it worked out great. We had hoped to raise $110,000 and we did, we did, we raised it. Thanks to our generous uh, parishioner who did some, uh, donation matching up to $6,000 to give it the final push, and we made it. So thanks to all of you for your generosity. Um, so fan, that's fantastic. And, uh, and so hopefully we'll be able to pay back the piggy bank that we, we took from the, to pay for the roof. And in the end, the, the roof may not come to the full amount that was um, uh, quoted for, and so we may even have some extra money that we can put back into our reserves too, because there's definitely going to be some other projects in the future that we want to keep our reserves up with that. So that's good news, right? That's nice to have that kind of behind us. And so thank you for your willingness to help with this great cause to just to take care of the, the most basic needs of our church. And uh, I guess just really for, for to finish out, I just wanted to just encourage you. I know that a lot of us are getting tired. You know, we're getting, we're weary of all this lockdowns and all that's going on. And even though it's springtime and Easter and Pentecost is coming, you know, maybe you're still feeling a little stressed out. Maybe some of you parents with children in school are wondering if they're going to go back to school or not, what's happening. Some of you have dealt with, you know, sickness in family, uh, death of loved ones in these terrible times. And so just putting all that together, I think we just need to pray for the Lord to give us a new spring in our step, right? A new refreshment of his spirit. And so let's just to end with a little prayer and blessing of, of the Lord's grace for us. Lord God, you are our loving Father, and you care for us in all of our needs, and you're fully aware of all that we're going through right now uh, here in our parish and in our city and in our world. We are in the palm of your hands, and, just, uh, and we thank you for sending us your son Jesus to give us that rock to stand on, that anchor of our salvation, and no matter what, that we have your son Jesus and his death and resurrection to, to keep us strong. And as we anticipate the Feast of Pentecost, you know, just may... We thirst and hunger more for your Holy Spirit. Send your Spirit upon us that we can, with him within us, cry out, Abba, Father, you know, and uh, to come to know uh, you more and more. And may the Spirit also come to us as a spirit of re refreshment, a spirit of a new energy, a new uh, impetus and zeal to, to spread your kingdom. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. May Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.